Hello everyone, how's it going? Elliot here and welcome to my second channel where we take a look at things that I wouldn't review on my main channel. It's very confusing. This is a portable cassette player. It's a very small portable cassette player and I got it all the way from Japan using a website called Sendico which is a proxy service which allows you to buy things from Yahoo auctions and similar sites that are Japanese exclusive and then they ship it all over the world. It's a fantastic website. I'll leave a link below, not sponsored. So this is it right here and I paid quite a lot of money for it, presumably because they're very rare. They're very hard to find. There's no information about it online or very little at least and certainly nothing in English. I'm sure there's probably quite a few things in Japanese, but I'm not gonna be able to access that. This is also the first video on YouTube, certainly done by someone who speaks English. I can't find anything else, but then again, I might not be searching for the right thing. Anyhow, this is it right here. So it is all based off of this character. It's called Crayon um, Shin, Shinchan. Crayon Shinchan. Uh, probably got the pronunciation of that terribly wrong, um, but it's geared towards a younger person. So I think it's kind of like Sony's My First Sony Walkman style type thing. It says at the bottom here, Bandai 1993 made in Korea, and it's definitely not got the packaging of an executive um, professional product. This is definitely more of a toy, but it's still a very interesting thing. One final thing, I'm not sure if you ever remember the elbow. It was like this uh, render that went around the internet and it was a thing that never actually came to be ex in existence, um, but it was a very small cassette player that you plug your headphones into. Didn't really seem like it would ever work. Uh, cassettes are far too fragile to have some little thing hug onto the side of it, but this is basically the closest they've ever got. And you can see on the back there, it's quite interesting. Okay, so let's take it out. It comes with some headphones, although I'm sure we're not really going to be uh, caring too much about those. Or maybe we care about them a lot. <laughs> it's quite hard to tell when there's a small face sticking out of both of them. So anyway, this is it. There's, there is a, uh, a manual and stuff here which just shows us how to use it. Um, there might be some other useful stuff, but it's all in Japanese. This is the actual thing itself. And as you can see, it's absolutely tiny. Now, Sony did release a Walkman that was meant to be one of the smallest Walkmans ever made. And I think at the time, it was the smallest Walkman ever made. Uh, they did do a few sort of like slightly clever things with it. This is it here. This is the WM20, but the first one was the WM10. The advert was all about the fact that it was the same size as a cassette tape box, and it is. Um, if you take an actual cassette here, uh, you can see it's very, very small, um, about probably just a little bit under double the thickness of a cassette, um, but it's not fully like that. You have to extend it to actually put a cassette in. But you can see here that this little thing, the Bandai, what, what are we gonna call it? <laughs> Let's just call it the, the Bandai Crayon Shinchan. Um, that rolls off the tongue. It's a lot smaller again. I mean, it isn't necessarily thinner, but it isn't really a lot thicker. I mean, it's definitely more so just because of the uh, the battery layout and also it's got this weird volume wheel thing going on in the back. If they were to get rid of that and uh, maybe do what Sony did here, which is just make it run off of one AA as opposed to two AAAs, they probably could have downsized this even more. But you can still see it's absolutely bloody tiny and it is definitely smaller than a cassette and it's not until you actually take a cassette and you pop it in that you realize just how small it really is. Okay, so we're gonna go like that, and then like that, and there we go. What a bizarre little thing. I just don't understand it. It just doesn't really seem to make a lot of sense. This kind of thing is so beautiful. If they had made it more geared towards an adult, I'm sure this thing would have sold a lot better. It's definitely not got the highest quality mechanism inside. That is 100% for sure. I will do a little sound test later on in this video, but um, it's 100% not geared towards like some super audio file. Uh, you can also see this second spindle. It's just a little plastic nub. Not that that means a lot to me, but to audio files out there, that could represent something. Right, let me take some batteries. Oh. Some money, I didn't know I had that in there. Um, if you put the batteries in, two triple A's goes into the back. There we go. I actually quite like the sort of lilac accents on it. The one thing I can't quite get behind is this design on the front, but um, again, it is obviously made for a kid. Okay, so if I press play, you can see it's gonna immediately play. It start spinning, and with this cassette tape in there, the reel-to-reel -reel style one, it looks absolutely excellent. It is a shame that it's so babyish because it kind of ruins just how gorgeous the thing is in itself, but hey-ho. Right, 
Let's do a quick audio test just from the speaker um, to show you that it is actually working and then I'll plug it into my audio recorder and you can get an idea for the quality. For this, I'm gonna be using my little cassette speaker thing, which is uh, very cool. It also doesn't have rewind, it's only got fast forward. Anyway, yeah, it works. <laughs> Let me plug it in. That is gonna wrap it up for the Bandai Crayon Shinshan. It's my first sound, and I'm very, very glad I picked this thing up. It's super cool, very unique, looks very nice on the shelf, and I'm glad that I was able to be one of the first, if not the first, to showcase it onto the internet. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. Personally, I'd like to see Tecmoan make a video on it, because it's gonna be very interesting. It's gonna go into far more detail than I am. Um, I have taken this thing apart, by the way, and it's incredibly basic inside. I really don't think there's anything special about this player at all, other than its size. They've just managed to condense it into a very small little form factor. And uh, there's no way you'd suspect that that's a cassette player from the back. It looks like a little walkie-talkie or something. But nonetheless, it is a cassette player. It's a portable one, and it's very small. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Goodbye.